Good evening and welcome once again to our service of Vespers or evening prayer. You come on this evening where we have a, had a very blustery, showery day in Guildford, um, but the sun shines brightly at this moment. We come at the end of this day to thank God for all those many blessings that he's given to us and really to praise him as the first duty of all Christians, to love our God, to praise him, to look forward to that outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which we ask afresh when we remember that great anniversary of the church's birthday, when the Holy Spirit caused that tremendous explosion in the numbers of the church, when three or 5,000 people were added in one day due to the preaching of the apostles, when the Holy Spirit had given them the gift of tongues, been privileged this afternoon to talk to a young man who is seeking to join the Catholic Church. And he's beginning that process all over again. He's ventured in the past, but has halted, and now he's suddenly come back with fresh vigour. Um, that's interesting because on this Sunday, in a few days' time, we will be... Uh, bringing into full communion with the church those other Christians that have sought to become Catholics. And also we'll be baptising two people um, into the Christian faith, into the Catholic faith, in the Mass here at 10 o'clock. So they have completed their journey of discovery and learning and deepening their faith through the RCIA programme. And another young man has now joined it to start again. We thank God for people that are searching for Christ but there's also ample evidence that Christ has searched for them and led them in this way, or well, the Holy Spirit has. So we prepare for that coming of the Holy Spirit afresh, keeping our hearts open and our minds open to do the will of what God is telling us to do, or implying, prodding us, nudging us forward, giving us that inner sense of this is the right thing to do. We ask that he will lead many people into his church, at the basis of our faith is prayer. Prayer is the oxygen of our faith. And so we indulge in it once again. As St. Paul says, you should continually pray, not just in formal liturgies, as we have tonight, but in private prayer. But these liturgies do join us all together through this common divine office, which is in three volumes of the, the breviary. And we join with all the other people around the world um, many of the English-speaking people, but all people, the Catholic people, who will be in their own language praising God at this particular hour when it comes to them. As usual, we will offer your prayers during the intercessions of Vespers. And again, as usual, as it's six o'clock, the traditional hour for remembering the incarnation of Christ, the King of the universe, who took on our human flesh, to be like us and to die for us. So we commence with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, to make us worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The hymn for Vespers um, is also the same hymn in Universalis. It's hymn number 32 in the breviary. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator, come from thy bright heavenly throne. Come, take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength which ne'er decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed three in one. Your sorrows will turn to joy. Alleluia. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord work for them? What marvels the Lord work for us? Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your sorrow will turn to joy. Alleluia. Whether we live or whether we die, we belong to the Lord. Alleluia. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labour. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber, Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like the arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Whether we live or whether we die, we belong to the Lord. Alleluia. From him, through him, and in him are all things that exist to 
Him be glory forever. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From him, through him, and in him are all things that exist. To him be glory for ever. Alleluia. From the first letter to the Corinthians. The things that no eye has seen and no ear has heard, things beyond the mind of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him, these are the very things that God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit reaches the depths of everything, even the depths of of God. The Holy Spirit is the advocate. Alleluia, alleluia, we repeat. The Holy Spirit is the Advocate. Alleluia, alleluia. He will teach you everything. The Holy Spirit is the Advocate. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Advocate. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Alleluia. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Alleluia. With the apostles and with all, you have, all who have received the pledge of the Spirit, 
we praise and call on God. Lord, hear us. God of power and might, you have taken up Christ into the glory of heaven. Help all people to see that he is living in his church. Lord, hear us. Father, you said of Christ, this is my son, the beloved, listen to him. Make the voice of your son resound in people's hearts and bring them to salvation. Lord, hear us. May your Holy Spirit come to dwell in the hearts of all your faithful and renew the face of the earth. Lord, hear us. Into your hands we commend our dead. Confirm our hope in the resurrection to come. Lord, hear us. prayer request from Susan. She wants a prayer for her daughter Anna as she has a few worries at the moment. And a prayer request from Monica to pray for a family whose son died this week following a drug overdose. May they find the support and consolation that they need at this time. Let us pray for all those who are searching for, unemployment, uh, for employment currently. May they be encouraged in their endeavors and not to, afraid to try a new direction in their search. Elizabeth has asked us to light a candle and offer thanksgiving prayers in memory of her late father, Paul Wong, whose birthday is today. And we pray for the priests and people of our neighbouring parish of St Dunstan's in Woking on this their patronal feast day, particularly for the ministries of Fathers Peter and Simon. Our prayers are asked by Pope Francis that this pandemic may be brought to an end soon and suffering be relieved by the sharing of resources between nations. Prayers are asked for all those suffering pain who have been waiting such a long time for operations that their relief may come soon. Prayers of thanksgiving for the answering of many prayers offered here each week. And we remember in prayer those who are searching for a meaning in life, particularly young people, that they may find the Lord Jesus. And here we pray particularly for all those who are thinking of coming on our new RCIA course in the autumn and for those who will be receiving sacraments at our altar here on Sunday. And for the restoration to full health of Father Thomas. we commend to God the souls of all the faithful departed this life that they may find eternal rest and peace and be raised in glory on that day Lord hear us our Father who art in heaven 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of mercy, you have gathered your church together by the Holy Spirit. Keep us devoted to your service and united among ourselves. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we go in the peace of Christ, we sing our evening anthem to Our Lady, the Regina Chaley. Regina Celi, la terre, alleluia. Qui aque meruisti portare, alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 